Good morning. It's time for my for my daily glass of kombucha. So I'm going to Brazil in like four days and I need to clean up my fridge and I have to bottle and make some new kombucha. So I figured that I would take you along for that ride because I realized that I haven't showed you guys how to make kombucha or even really talked about the fact that I make it. And for that reason, I never have to buy kombucha again. Before my trip, I have to clean up my fridge. I have to make kombucha. And because I need to bottle the kombucha before I leave so that I can put it in the fridge before I leave, it's all about timing. So welcome to my day of food errand running and making, I guess we could call it. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Compliment, who is sponsoring today's video. I've talked about them numerous times. You guys know that I love them. They make supplements that are intentionally crafted using the latest research and they're optimized for plant-based eaters. So they make protein powders, they make an essentials like vitamin that I take every single day and they have a greens powder that I love. A little bit more on them later. So next week I'm going away to Brazil and I need to clean out my fridge food wise. So for lunch, I think I'm gonna do some roasted cabbage because I have this much cabbage to use with like a greens powder, like dressing probably. And someone sent me this sesame like mayo, which I think we're gonna use. So to season it, I'm going to use I don't know, like two tables or two teaspoons of olive oil, teaspoon of sweet soy sauce, and then like half of a teaspoon of lemon juice, some paprika, maybe some garlic powder, some salt. What else? Ooh, maybe some maple syrup. both sides and then whatever's left over that I don't use, I'm just gonna stick in the fridge. I think the sauce I'm going to make with this will be kind of like a, like a maple base and like rice wine vinegar. Yeah. How have I made such a huge mess already? Like I've literally cut cabbage and somehow I've made a huge mess. So I'm gonna stick these into the oven 450 for like 25 minutes or until it's like the edges are crispy, essentially. Okay, to top the cabbage, like I said, I have this sesame mayo, which I think is going to be so good with it, but I want like something a little vinegary to like cut the fat in the mayo that'll also go really well with the greens. So I'm going to do like a rice wine vinaigrette, but with greens powder to add like some additional punch. And I like this one from Compliment. I'm just going to do this in a jar. I have about a quarter cup of olive oil here. I'm going to add two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon of maple syrup, a Canadian, of course I have to use that, a quarter teaspoon, roughly onion powder, a pinch of salt and pepper, and then depending on how thick it's going to be and how green I want it to be, one to two teaspoons of the daily greens powder. So obviously I try to eat whole foods as much as I can, but sometimes I just don't because life gets in the way. I do love to add the daily greens to smoothies and stuff, but you can also add it to other things like the salad dressing. This one specifically has five different diverse greens in it. And obviously on a per gram basis, like greens are some of the most nutrient dense foods that you can eat. So this is a great one to like pack them in there without having to eat like a giant salad. Why I like this one for compliments specifically over a lot of other ones is that this one actually has a decent taste to it. A lot of greens powders don't have a very good taste. This one I actually enjoy. I've just like drank it with water or juice or whatever and it has a great flavor to it as well. So this is a like super effortless, simplified way to get those greens in that'll help you with like obviously your overall health and immunity, but also like your energy levels, packed with minerals, antioxidants, enzymes, just for better health because that's what we need in this world right now. And one of the reasons why I trust Compliment products is that they use science-backed data and information to formulate all of their products. Each batch is third-party tested, which we love. They use certified organic ingredients and it's tailored for plant-based eating. 
and I am in fact plant-based, so I love that. So I have a code for you guys to get 15% off. I will leave that in the description box down below along with links to my favorite products from them and also more information. So yeah, definitely check them out. So I have some of this sticky rice left over from um, when I made some sushi. I'm gonna microwave it for 90 seconds just in the pouch. Love that, quick, easy when you don't feel like cooking rice. Okay, I kind of feel like making like a breadcrumb topping for it too, so that there's a little bit of texture. So I have some minced onion. I'm gonna add some garlic granules. So I'm just gonna stir the garlic, onion, and olive oil around until I can start to smell it. It's just going to infuse the olive oil. Add some paprika. You know what, I kind of wanna toast some sesame seeds too. I think that'll be really tasty. Add the breadcrumbs and just toast that. I also want to add a pinch of salt. I'm going to add like a bed of rice. exactly what I wanted. Oh my gosh, it's so good. When I clean out my fridge like this to like use what I have and make food with it, I always come up with the most creative meals, mainly because I'm forced to, but it definitely gives me some inspiration. The other thing I have to do before I leave is um, bottle my kombucha. So I need there to be enough time to have a second ferment before I leave, because if I leave it and I don't bottle it right away, it it's gonna turn into vinegar, but if I do it too close to when I leave for the second ferment, then it will also turn into vinegar, so. Okay. Oh God, this is heavy. We're gonna bottle some kombucha. So I have my kombucha here. I also have these scobies that I grew, but I need bottles. We're gonna go with some mango juice today. Ooh, and ginger. Made all these ginger shots. I'm also going to make a new batch of kombucha so that while I'm gone, it has time to ferment. And then when I get back, then I'll have more to bottle. Last week I thought maybe the top was molding, but I checked and it was not. It was just growing a new scoby on top of itself. So let's see. I want it to be like, oh, no, that's definitely ready to go. So this is a scoby. This is my old one. And then this is the new thing that it's growing on top. It just kind of grows to like whatever size your container is. Transferring it to another jar. And then I need like a, a cup of this already fermented liquid because it needs to live in something. And I also need a cup for my next batch. I think uh, I started making kombucha like, oh my gosh, it must've been like six months ago, if not longer. And I mean, I'm kind of obsessed with it. I just think it's like a really fun thing to make and I feel very accomplished, actually. And it almost feels like I have like a pet or something that I'm taking care of, which is kind of weird to say, but you know, over the last six months, I've definitely done like so many different flavor combinations and different types of tea. I mean, I really love both the green tea and the black tea with mango. Since drinking it, like I just feel different. Like I feel better. And I think that ha probably has a lot to do with my gut health. And honestly, I've also been using it to make cocktails, which has been great. Because usually I'm like a tequila soda girl, but tequila and kombucha, also very tasty. Yeah, I definitely like to think of this as like, like a new hobby that I have. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna leave some space in the neck here because um, it's gonna get carbonated and I want there to be space so that this doesn't explode. But yeah, it's been like a super fun hobby and I feel like it's giving me that like experimentation that I want sometimes with food, but with less of a commitment in like eating the food or buying the food. Since taking it too, I also feel like my skin is looking better. And with my ADD too, like in my, um, I burnt out my adrenals. I definitely have a, 
a bit more energy than I did before and sometimes more focus when it comes to the ADHD side of things. Because my mom used to make kombucha when I was really young as well. But she never showed me how to make it. Probably because I didn't care at the time. I got this goby from my friend and then I grew a couple more. Like one of these is like, depending on where you live, like $5, $6. I love the idea that I never have to <laughs> buy kombucha ever again. All right, I'm gonna label these because I need to, I have a bunch of different ones in the fridge too, so I need to know which one's which. And this is my drink fridge. So I have a bunch of different types in here. This one's black tea and mango, green tea, strawberry, lime. So I've brewed some green tea here because I'm going to make another batch right away. Instead of doing like a full gallon of hot tea water, just because I wanted, I don't want to wait hours for this to cool down, I did about half of a gallon of hot water and then I'm just gonna cool it down. But I need a cup of sugar first. Also from like a mental health perspective, like it's just something calming that I enjoy doing and it goes back to like doing things every day that like bring me peace or calm. All right, we're gonna let this cool down. I might just stick it in the fridge actually. Okay, all I need to do is take a shelf out. We're good. Kind of like an early dinner, early afternoon dinner. I'm going somewhere tonight and I know that we're gonna eat there, but I need something to kind of hold me over until then because that is not until much later. Cleaning up my fridge, I have one piece of naan left. So I figured we could make a naan pizza. I have some uh, frozen spinach. I have some leftover tofu cream cheese that I made. Olive oil, garlic powder, and onion powder. And see how that goes. Great success. A bit of feta left. I don't know what that accent is supposed to be. I'm so sorry for that. Add some plant-based feta on top. Stunning. I don't know what that sound was. I have the smallest amount of agave left. more often. Now that the tea is totally cooled, I'm gonna take out the tea bags. Okay. I'm going to add a cup of fermented kombucha from the last batch. All right, gotta add that, whoop, scooby back in. My little alien creature put its hat back on. You need it to be in like a, a warm, dry, dark place, but this also. So this will let like air flow come in and out so it doesn't die. Into the back room it goes. All right, well, thank you for joining me on my kombucha errands and my eating what's in my fridge. And don't forget to um, check out Compliment. Get your code 15% off. It is all in the description box down below. I will see you guys when I am back from my trip. Bye-bye.